Welcome back, this time, to the Tier 10 Panzer 8 Maus, German heavy tank. Uh, super heavy tank, really. They should really have a second second heavy classification in the game for super heavy tanks, because then you could just rub it in people's face that much more that you weigh three times as much as they do. I really like this thing. But I've been aiming for this thing for a couple of years. So when I finally got it this past summer, I was just excited. Very excited. It's beautiful. Isn't it? It just lumbers across the battlefield like, yes, I know you're there. I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. So we're on Abbey, so I'm going down to the heavy tank road to do the heavy tank thing. And I'm just hoping I don't come across the uh, Waffle Tractor E100. Anything that can kill me with, within 10 seconds is not a good thing to be around. Turns out I don't have to worry, he goes off the other way. So there's me, the E75, and the AMX 1375, who's decided that he doesn't care about living. Nearly as much as anybody else does. And on the opposite side, we have a Patton and an E75. Uh, the E75 probably has the same gun I do. Uh, The Patton's magic armor defeats my shell once again. That's not the first time it's happened to me. First time this game, not the first time. Uh, Alright. Regardless. Oh! Oh, there's another one. So there's two of them. Three of them. Oh, that came from the other direction. Oh. Still no actual damage to the machine because this thing is just... Bad ass that way. So lumbering right along. So you see, the 1375 has decided that he can, in fact, take hits for some reason. The E75 has been rather unfortunate as well. And as soon as I show up, the 1375 goes, "Hey, we got backup. I'm safe," and immediately drives off at three times the maximum speed I can go. <sighs> Whatever. He stopped long enough for me to catch up. Coming around the corner here, it's me and the E75, both very well armored. So he has the 105. And there's IS-7. Besides, that it's much better to shoot the scout than the heavy. And with 1750 horsepower engine, it's simple enough to push these, the 1375 forward to become a bit of cover. For my lower hull. The one bit of armor on the front of this thing that is easily penetratable. Relative. So that shot actually went through the lower plate. Considering the amount of damage it did, that was probably the IS-7. Uh, could have been the E-75 if he has the top gun. I don't know, I haven't had a good look at him yet. Yeah, okay, probably the E-75 there. Put a shot into the Commander's Cup. And I'm trying to keep the E-75 sides behind me. Uh, because the E-75 sides are quite weak. Uh, so, you'll see me at times not backing up all the way around the corner. Just because he's loaded. Uh, even if I'm not because I have some really rotten luck on this corner. Um, I get a lot of annoying bounces, and I will leave my strongest armor around the corner to give him something to use as cover, which is a tactic I picked up with this thing. After driving around in the TOG a little, I was driving around the TOG and I realized that I could just drive in front of allies and they had plenty of TOG to shoot over, and they couldn't get hit back. Um, it's easier with the mouse because the mouse doesn't die when you do this. At least not immediately. So, while I'm having shit luck killing this E75, uh, our E75 is doing fantastic. Still can't put it through. He kills him, so okay. Now we can now we can deal with the IS-7. Surely I won't have such awful luck with the IS-7. Right, yes. 
Gonna have better luck with the ISO. Yep. One of those days, right? Okay, he just... Oh, look at that. Killed him. Oh! There's a Object 140 up there. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. What's that? You running away so soon? No. Not really. Are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? Of course, now he can't see me, and he just takes a blind shot and misses. So, he put a shot through the side there at me. Oh well. If he wants to come down and play, I'll play with him. I have crushed the Soviet tanks between Mouse and Hard Rock before. Do it again. And <laughs> there's the 1375 that was chugging along with us there. Mouse is basically a block of iron on wheels. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They put a gun on there just so that if somebody gets in your face, you can punch him back. So, rolling forward at the leisurely pace that the mouse moves. Uh, it's a fairly balanced game at the moment. 8-7 for us. The mouse is like a special needs helmet. Uh, somebody sounds slightly upset. I don't know why people underestimate the mouse so much. Is there just a bunch of retards driving it and they don't know what they're doing? Like me? Yep, there's a good roll. 521 on the object. Poor tankers use mouse. This guy was just a, more than a little upset, I think. At uh, having been killed by mouse. Does not understand the true beauty of mouse. B-75 getting stuck in with that object. So I'm keeping my armor efficiently angled. Yeah, now we got the guys on the enemy team calling him out. Mouse is a good tank. It is. It's a very good tank. Especially if you learn how to use the armor properly. That pet is just raging. Maybe something got in his cereal that morning. Need one shot to kill it. And... nope. Oh well. Alright, so, rolling on the cap. We're now winning 12-7. Now we have the cap, and they are halfway up the valley. Yep. That's game, at this point, pretty much. Uh, T-29? T-29? T-95. T-95 has joined us. Finally. I imagine he had a rather boring game. <laughs> He's even slower than me. Glorious mouse. So I got. Well, actually, I have the uh, after battle results, so I don't, have, I don't even have to try and remember what I got for this one. I can show you. Uh, there I'm in chat trying to get the T71 to come racing back and try and reset because I wanted another kill, but he didn't quite make it in time. So don't go away. We'll be right back with the after battle results. In... No, I'm not going to do a countdown, because then I have to edit it so that it works. That sounds like a pain. Be right back. And we're back with the after battle results. So, yes, Steel Wall. That was probably obvious at that point. Uh, 53,000 credits, 4,000 experience for not an awful lot. <laughs> I did a bit of damage, got some capture points, and, um, okay, did a bit more than a bit of damage, apparently. Uh, <laughs> fourth on the team for experience, behind... Our E-75 buddy, and two guys that went the other way. Uh, fourth on the team for damage. Did the most damage of the three of us that went that one way. Where's the T-95? Yeah, he had, a, he had a crummy game. That that sucks. I hope that wasn't his daily triple or whatever. That would, that would be unfortunate. So, 15 shots fired, 12 hits, 7 penetrations, because my luck was awesome like that. But took 14 hits for... 5,000 potential damage. Uh, got 330 assistance damage, probably from tracking some guy. Uh, 57 base capture points. 
drove just over a kilometer and a half, walked home with 25,000, would have profited either way. And another good use of a daily triple, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Until next time, have a good one.